is probable that the efforts to reinforce Sumter may be made by sending in men and whale boats tonight. Should this plan succeed and the garrison be reinforced sufficiently to stand an assault, the attempt may be made to fight their way up by five or six war vessels. L.P. Walker, Confederate Secretary of War They must be stopped, sir. They must be. What rips at my soul, Miss Letty, is they have offered me a colonelcy if I will join them in the coming dissolutionment. They haven't. Oh, yes, they have, and they have offered noble Robert E. Lee the command of that evil empire which will rip apart the United States of America. You shall not, sir. You cannot. Virginia will never hear of it. I cannot. I will not raise my sword against my home state of Virginia. I will not raise my sword against my home state of Virginia. Jackson, standing like a stone wall. Let us determine to die here today and we will conquer. They rally behind the Virginians.
I think it is absolutely necessary that we should abandon our position tonight. I have given all the necessary orders on the subject to the troops, and the operation, though difficult, I hope will be performed successfully. I have directed General Stevens to send an officer to Your Excellency to explain the routes to you by with which the troops will be moved to Amelia Courthouse and furnish you with a guide and any assistance that you may require for yourself. R. E. Lee. Once before, when we were serving in Mexico, you came over from General Scott's headquarters to visit Garland's brigade, to which I then belonged. I remember your appearance, and I'm sure I would have recognized you anywhere. Yes, I know we met on that occasion, and I've often thought of it and tried to recollect how you looked, but have never been able to recall a single feature. I suppose, General Grant, the object of our present meeting is fully understood. I asked to see you to ascertain upon what terms you would receive the surrender of my army. 